Yeah, good afternoon. It's uh, Friday the 2nd of June. And you can probably guess I'm out walking somewhere. Um, as you can see, quite a nice uh, bride away. Um, I am going Dartmoor by the way. I'm currently walking up near Meldon, but Meldon's way back and the reservoir is over that way. But this is the uh, bride away that takes you up to in the direction of Sorton Tor. Uh, and this is part of the West Devon Way and the Two Castles Trail. Um, I've never actually walked this track, I've known of it, but I've never ever walked it, so uh, why not? So I'm up for the overnight, a uh, quick overnight camp. I um, want to try somewhere new, but uh, I'll show you that when I get there. So, uh, no things to try which are new this time. Uh, but I'll show you everything I've got when I've pitched up later on, so uh, I'm going to crack on. Right, by following the uh, West Devon Way or Two Castles Trail from Meldon, you'd come through that gate. Um, obviously you don't come through it, you open it up obviously, but <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Uh, normally I would have come around that corner there uh, with this hill, uh, I've forgotten the name of it, but behind that, down below, is Meldon Reservoir. So. Uh, I'm now going to head in that direction as usual, up towards Sorting Tour. But uh, at least it's a different way to know about and uh, yeah, easy one to remember. Right, I've currently just stopped off on Salt and Tor now. So I'm going to stop here for a few minutes, have some of the drink and uh, admire the view. Then I'll uh, carry on and make my way in the direction of the Great Lynx Tour. Right, this is Brat Tour, it's the Tour of the Cross on it. So I'm just going to stop here for a minute, have a drink, and uh, then I'm going to make my way down the valley below here because that over there is Del Tour so I may even camp up from there um, I'm pretty sure I remember a pitch or two there I can go or I'll just go stay in the valley next to the stream and stay there for the night so Del Tour is just within the boundary of the permitted camping zone so I'm alright but obviously for further over that way you're not and I don't know if the camera's picking up there's a cuckoo down there Right, I'll bring you back in a minute. Yeah, that's Brat Tour up there, and uh, I finally pitched. Um, this wasn't my first ideal place to pitch, well, my first choice, should I say. I did intend to go up there on Doe Tour, but the ground up there is like you see it in front of me, it's just quite bumpy everywhere. But uh, I managed to find a flattish piece here, so. Um, I've set the shoulder up, that's the uh, Six Moon Designs Gatewood Cape and I'm using the uh, Six Moon Serenity net with it. Uh, it took me several attempts, um, first time didn't look right, second time I got it right and then I realised I pitched it on a big tuft right in the middle so I had to pull it two foot this way. But yeah it's looking alright now, it's looking quite tall so I've had a brace up mistake. The wind ain't so bad here, um, was expecting it to be a bit worse but mind you I've got quite a nice view so I should get a fairly good sunset there because I'm in like a, a bowl here but it's quite high up because the crown there just drops straight down so uh, anyway at least the water next to me is good and clear so I'm gonna unpack the rest of my gear get some water and uh, start doing my tea Right, everything's inside the shelter now. Uh, you have to excuse the flap in here. Um, using the Cumulus 250 quilt. I've got the uh, multi mat, which is the red mat there. Pillows inflated and my Monte Nicarus jacket's just lofting up. As for the rest of my gear, um, I've got my Olight S1R, this 
tent lantern. Uh, cooking equipment, I'm using the mini Trangia. Trangia mini, whatever you want to call it. Folding mug, got a SPB mess burner, some mess. The red bag is my ditty bag, which is a pocket radio, power bank, and my head torch, and spare batteries for the camera and head torch in there. Um, I've got a can of beer, which is going to go in the stream behind me in a minute. A little flask of whiskey, uh, one liter and a 600 meter, uh, 600 mil bottle for water, uh, platypus, and a uh, what's it called? Yeah, platypus filler in a two liter bag, and a bag of food, which I'll show you in a minute. But I just want to go and get some water and put my beer in to chill down first. Right, just show you what food I brought me this time, and for those people who are interested. Yes, I have got something to fry. I do have some sausages, hence the bread. So tonight's tea, when I get round to doing it now, will be a sausage sandwich. If that all goes wrong, I have a backup meal of uh, something to eat pasta bolognese. So uh, other stuff is going to be snack, basically. So after I eat the meal, I can have a cup of soup as well if I want. But I do have a soup in the sachet there. But I've got a small flapjack for afters. I've got crunch bars to to snack on, I'll probably have one this evening, um, but that big flapjack's my breakfast tomorrow with maybe one of these. Uh, drink wise, bar, well, apart from instant chocolate, I got a couple fruit drinks which I can add to the bottle of water. But what I've brought this time uh, is a small container of instant white tea, and there's my sugar container. Um, don't mind that stuff too much, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But just in case, I got a couple uh, Earl Grey tea bags which I can drink uh, without milk for some reason, don't know why. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get my sausages on the go, and I'll catch you in a minute. Yeah, nothing like it, the sound of a sizzling sausage. That'd be a good nickname, I think. Well, there you go, one sausage sandwich with loads of tomato ketchup. So I'm going to enjoy this now. Uh, it's turning to be quite a nice evening now. Uh, I think it's about quarter past eight. Uh, obviously the sun won't set for another hour or hour and a half or something like that. But uh, in the meantime, I finished my tea. I enjoyed that sausage sandwich. Uh, I've just had uh, a flapjack and washed it down with a cup of tea. And I've left my mini Trangia out so I can have another brew later on. But in the meantime, I've just retrieved my can of Doom Bar from the stream. And it is very nice and cold. So I will enjoy that in a minute. Um, I have been thinking... I may try and do a time lapse of the sun setting. Um, it is looking a bit hazy that way. And I have noticed the way it's going down, I may have to go off to the left to get it a decent view of it. But uh, we shall see. Um, if I don't put that in, I may do a bit more filming later on. And if I don't, I'll end up catching all in the morning. Unless I do a bit of astral photography tonight, which I may chuck in as well. So I'll catch you all later on. Yeah, good morning. It's uh, six o'clock and thankfully the sun's just coming over the hill now. So I've been up for a little while. Uh, overall, not a bad night. Uh, it was quite windy down here um, and I think this place will probably always will be windy. But uh, shelter held up. It was flapping around all night. So it wasn't that kept me awake. Uh, unfortunately, I suffer from hay fever and something tripped me off. So all the usual sneezing, coughing, runny nose, blocked nose and all that. But apart from that, I did actually get quite a few, few hours sleeping. So, like I said, I've been up for a while now. Uh, everything's all packed away. I'll put everything in a rucksack. I'm going to get some water on the go, have a cup of tea, something to eat. And then uh, hopefully this shelter will have dried off a bit better. And I'll pack everything away and uh, head on. Well, I'm all packed up now. That is where I slept last night. I'm just going to double check area, make sure I've not left anything behind. But usual thing, folks, leave no trace. Any rubbish you got with you, take it home. All my rubbish is in my rucksack, and I will dispose of that when I come to the nearest bin. So, quarter past seven now. I'm going to make my way up to Brat Tour and take it from there. All right, this is Brat Tour again. 
So uh, just stopping here for a minute. It's quite misty at the moment, but uh, I think it's supposed to lift later on. So I think what I'll do now, I'm going to head over in that direction and go and uh, visit Arms Tour. I've not been there for a while, so uh, I think I'll go over there and uh, take it from there. Right, so I walked to, uh, from Brat Tour this morning over to Arms Tour there and made my way down here. It's uh, certainly a lot less windier down here than up there, but uh, I'm going to cross the stream there now and then head off to the right and go up to Great Nodden there and I'll take it from there. Well, sorting tour is up there, but um, I'm a bit earlier than I intended. It's only now 9.40. Um, my original plan from yesterday was to walk the sorting down to Meldon Reservoir, then walk up f below the dam, up to Black Down, then back past Ocampton Army Camp, but I've walked past the camp in the last couple of trips. So as I was walking past here a minute ago, obviously with the vibe that I've been down there, I kind of realised I haven't walked on the railway line since last year, so my plan of action now is I'm going to walk down there, get onto the viaduct, and then walk back the four or five miles back to Oakhampton from there. Now, as I always say, leave no trace. Obviously, here's my rubbish. There is a bin. Goodbye rubbish. All right, this is Meldon Viaduct. Meldon Reservoir is over there, that's the dam. And obviously just behind me now is the um, Meldon Quarry and the old Meldon train station. Right, I'm nearly back in the old camp in now. So this is my last bit of filming. Uh, it's been a good weekend, quite enjoyed it. Uh, weather's been good, uh, food haven't been too bad. And that new location I tried, yeah, that was worth trying again. Although, just to bear in mind, it is quite windy there, so a tent may be in order. Um, yeah, overall, like I said, good weekend. So if you like this one, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or the comments, leave them in the comments box, and I'll get back to you. So I'm now going to go back to Old Campden. Uh, all I've eaten today is a, a flapjack for breakfast, and that was six hours ago. So I'm going to go back to that cafe, I think, and have another fry up. And uh, if I do, I'll take another picture of it and add it to the end of this video. So uh, for me, I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye bye.